Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to Alan Wake. Now, we just uh, defeated this Combine Harvester, uh, but I don't really know where to go next. I guess we should get out of this pen where uh, the other guy came from. Seems to be plausible. The guy we just murdered. The Taken. Yeah. Okay. This should be, uh... What we need to do to open the silo door. What's over here? Can we open this? Yes. Ah, there we go. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Yes. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hello. Hey, we got it. Hand? Any more supplies in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Finally, Andersons. Show me your mysteries. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty good. <laughs> hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're you gotcha. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Valhalla. Right. So this is what we've been uh, working towards Come on, one more gig. Let's for three episodes. And it says, "Old gods know the truth." Yeah. Like these guys, they uh, seemed like these throwaway uh, side characters, but they actually have a big role in the plot. It looks like. Yeah, let's let's have a look here. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Asgard. The fuse box might be over here. Oh, not quite. I know, but I don't know about you guys, but uh, in downstairs was out but yeah. I was sure I could fix that in the fuse box right yeah we usually have our fuse boxes in the basement but I've seen like other like homes in <clears throat> the US there where they have it on the ground floor hmm what they got a golden record seriously Gods of Asgard? Is that it? The old gods of Asgard? Or is it upstairs? You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Mm hmm. Got that right. Well, it might be these two on, guys. The on, huh? Oh, there's a manuscript page. Yeah, where the hell is that fuse box, though? Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time mm -hmm. traveler in a crazy drunken dream. Yeah. This was the beginning. The yeah. night also disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. That's what I was talking about. These uh, pages are actually uh, written by Alan. And... Uh, like he has, he's in some sort of different existence, or maybe it is a time traveler thing, um, where he's uh, providing the story. Where the hell is that damn fuse box? Oh, what? Oh, I thought there was something blinking. Just the reflections, though. I'm a little lost here. <laughs> Maybe it is upstairs then, or is it in here? After all, I just didn't see it. Can you let me buy, please? Jesus, Barry. Come on! 
Move your ass. Jesus. Gotta be kidding me. There we go. So, no fuses here, obviously. This way? Oh, okay. Weird. Can you hear that, Al? Sick. Well, of course. <laughs> we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. Oh. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? That's gotta be what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Oh. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Find the Lady of the Light. I mean, it's a good song, but the lyrics. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. No. On, Barry, this is. Yeah. There are monsters everywhere. You shouldn't get drunk, dude. That's a very bad idea. Oh well. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. <coughs> a writer, god damn it. Correct. <laughs> if I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. Al. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What are they putting this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I feel like I'm dubbed by a very bad actor who doesn't know how to talk drunk. A booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. So it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Ooh la la. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh huh. Yeah. Alice, this is what the pages it's said. Right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the camera die. Alice, Alice would have never Alice. turned the lights off. Yep. Because she's a... a darkophobic. <laughs> I Somehow. Thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. Exactly. But... I couldn't find her in all that blackness. Mm -hmm. I must have thought she drowned. Okay... Jagger had Alice, and so she had me. Jagger? I'd 
been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. What? The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. Guess we gotta go back into the cabin. This is some weird shit. And obviously, we don't know if this is actually what happened, but... She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Hmm. Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. What is it you're getting at? Yeah. It's your fault. What's the end game? You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story mm -hmm. will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Ooh. Here we go. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making mm -hmm. sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. But actually... Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. To bring mm -hmm. a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zeng was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. Wow. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, shit! And that is the end of chapter four. Well, then, um. Yeah, so all of it was true? 
I think I sort of uh, figured it out. And uh, I mean, if this dream is actually uh, what happened, then yeah. Interesting, interesting. So uh, next time, I guess we'll see uh, what happens with uh, Alan Wake and uh, Officer Nightingale. FBI agent, I can go. Uh, this is a little bit of a short episode, I'm sorry, but I can't continue from here. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is an incredible story. I have a lot of respect for it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you guys next time in episode 5. See ya.